is a very special, special day for us. I'm very pleased to be here. My name is Anthony Beebe and I'm the superintendent president of Santa Barbara City College and I'm so thrilled to have that role. It is a great time to be able to celebrate uh, the new uh, Jack and Judy, Julie Nadell School of Business and Entrepreneurship. More importantly, what a special day it is for us to be able to celebrate a great entrepreneur and thinker in Jack Nadell. You know, it's been uh, really thrilling for me to be able to talk with so many of you to understand what Jack meant to you and understand what a great person he was. And I didn't have an opportunity to meet Jack personally, but through his books, the videos, the, the business history, his philosophy of business and other things, I feel like I've gotten a, a slight glimmer of, of what a great person this was and what a great man he was. Um, as, a, as a World War II pilot, he flew B-29s, had 27 missions. Um, he also did some things in a nonpartisan way with Ronald Reagan when he was asked to um, help with the trade efforts. And uh, he's always been one to kind of step out and, and, and help people out and help out wherever he can to make a better world. And it's such a privilege and honor to be able to have Jack's name live on in perpetuity here at Santa Barbara City College, and so I'm just absolutely thrilled about that. As a business major myself, and I owned a small business for, for two years, um, and as, a, as an airplane pilot myself for 25 years, I have a great deal of respect for the way that Jack handled himself, the things that he did, the way he uh, accomplished things. Uh, I know that he led from his heart, he led from his value systems, and that, that means a lot to me. I also need to tell you that Julie Nadell is a strong, successful entrepreneur in herself and was actually an entrepreneur before she ever met Jack. I mean, a lot of you may not know that, but she was uh, very successful in her catering business. And uh, when we were talking earlier, you know, um, the thing that, that she said that when she met Jack, had she met Jack earlier in her career, she would have been the new Martha Stewart in, in her particular realm <laughs> without the jail part. She always wants me to throw that in there. Without the <laughs> jail part, no. Um, but, you know, w you know, we're all so proud of you uh, being such a great entrepreneur and business person in your own right, Julie, and uh, that's just fantastic. I know that Jack had a passion for the future, and I watched him a couple times on some videos, and he talked about that passion, and he said, quote, you can enjoy the past, you can learn from the past, but you can't live in the past. You must embrace and live in the future. And what's so nice about what, what you're doing here with the, the, the business uh, department is that your legacy of entrepreneurship will live on forever at the college um, with the great gift that you've given us. And more importantly, it will live in all of the tens of thousands of students that will go through the business department and carry the message uh, that you and, and Jack had in terms of starting a small business. So I don't think there's anything more noble or greater that you can do for uh, a community or for students than that. So I know that I speak uh, for the entire college, for the business department, in saying thank you so much uh, for this gift and for all that you're doing uh, now and in the future for our business students. We really appreciate it. Welcome and thank you all for being here. Uh, we appreciate you coming uh, this evening to spend some time with us. Um, so I'd like to just say a few words before I turn it over to uh, Jeff, but um, I want to first recognize Amber Sims Hinterplattner. She's a friend and a colleague. Stand up, Amber. An entrepreneur a business owner who also teaches as an SBCC adjunct instructor in social media. She first introduced us to Jack Nadell in 2013, which culminated in his participation in a video interview in our Enlightened Entrepreneurship Series and in this eventual generous endowment. Amber is here tonight, and I'd like to thank her for everything that she has done behind the scenes to make Jack and Julie Nadell School of Business and Entrepreneurship come to fruition. So thank you, Amber.
I want to take a moment to talk about how we got here. A little over a year ago, I got a call from Amber, and she let me know that Jack and Julie wanted to meet with me to discuss a significant donation. Well, it's not every day you get that telephone call, so that was pretty exciting. Um, and so we scheduled the lunch meeting with Jack and Julie, and about two weeks prior to the lunch, I learned that Jack had passed away. So I immediately reached out to Julie and to express my condolences and let her know that I had taken the lunch off the calendar and that when and if she's ever ready to resurface, we could get together. And she said, Melissa, I want to keep the lunch and have the conversation. It was such an unexpected response, and it spoke to me about Julie's fire, her deep desire to honor Jack's wishes, her sense of philanthropy and generosity, and her commitment to our SBCC community. So Julie, you're an amazing person, and I learn from you uh, every day, and you're just a delight to hang out with. <laughs> So we're very grateful to have her as a partner at the Jack and Julie Nadell School of Business and Entrepreneurship. So thank you, Julie. And I want to talk about our new business school, who uh, has already united our division faculty around a mission statement to honor Jack's legacy, which is in the back of the program. And um, you know, I was really surprised by how easy it was to get our business division faculty to come together and have consensus over a new mission for our uh, business school. And I think the ease to which we re reach consensus speaks loudly to Jack's core values and to his practical business tenets that resonate with everything we do at the business school. So I think this event marks only the beginning of a more integrated business school that can grow and serve our students with innovative programming. So we're very excited about that. Um, I'm going to bring uh, Jeff uh, Green up to say a few words about our community, and then we'll welcome uh, Bonnie Chavez, our business administration department chair, a good friend and colleague of mine. Jeff? Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so my name is Jeff Green. I, I have the pleasure of serving as the CEO of our foundation here at Santa Barbara City College. And so as such, I have a really fun job in many ways because I get to work with some of the most generous, happy people uh, during their most generous and happy times. And uh, as such, uh, we're out in this community uh, day in and day out trying to find those links and those bridges uh, to our larger community and, and how they link back to the college you know, philanthropy really is the simple act, uh, I mean, truly, if you go to the Latin root, it's love of humanity. It's the act of giving something, paying something forward, um, doing something for someone else. And in this modern sense, for a modern college like ourselves, uh, what we're really doing is we're looking out in the community, trying to find those relationships um, that have been built uh, and those folks that really want to invest in this place and what it does. And I have to say, um, that it, it, doesn't, it doesn't always look like this. Uh, this is a really special woman, this is a really special family, this is a really special gift. Because what, what we see here is really the ideal version of what a community can do with its college. I, I will argue, and I, I come from a background of doing uh, social justice work of various kinds on various issues, um, and always it links back to education and access to education. And in, in one way or another, you just ask a question or two and you find it's that access that makes the difference. So um, Jack Nadell was not only an incredible businessman, but he was an incredible teacher and mentor, uh, he incredibly generous with his time, and of course spent some of that time right here on this campus. And so when those relationships were built with our faculty and our students, uh, you heard from Melissa how that ultimately resulted in that phone call and that conversation. Um, but I want to say that it goes further than that because um, Julie uh, heard loud and clear from the, my very first conversation with her uh, when she asked the question, and I love it when people ask questions like, you know, what would really be useful? How would we really honor um, Jack's legacy? How could we really do something that would have an impact on the college? Uh, and that, that answer, of course, is what you see before you. So um, for those of you that don't know, this is a $1 million gift that has been pledged by Julie Nadell. Uh, and this gift is for the entire business division here at Santa Barbara City College. And what that means for the business division, which is now the Jack and Julie Nadell School of Business and Entrepreneurship, 
is that the leadership, the faculty, the president, the vice president, the deans have an opportunity at any given point in time to continue to push forward these programs for students uh, and continue to be innovative and continue to, to find those things that uh, they couldn't otherwise do, but they can because of Julie's generosity. So um, Julie, I just want to thank you. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, all, all the things that go into a night like this, uh, and you all know that there's a lot that goes, leads up to this, um, but it's been a pleasure to get to know you. Um, I look forward to many more years of working with you here on behalf of the college, and so thank you very, very much. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bonnie Chavez. I am the chair of the Business Administration Department and have been asked to represent the outstanding faculty of the now School of Business and Entrepreneurship of course, with Jack and Julie Nadell's name headlining that new school. I want to just take a moment, if I can, to go just off script for a few seconds, if you will indulge me. And I, I just want to say that I had a, a, a really wonderful opportunity this evening to bump into Dr. Peter McDougall, uh, the former president of the college here, and the man who gave me my job. And so there's a lot of emotion for me here tonight, not only because I get to meet a dear friend and, and see and, and, and check in again, but also because of my uh, great emotion uh, and really love that I have for Jack and Julie Nadell. So thank you for allowing me to say that. Jack and Julie Nadell sure know how to leave a legacy and how to pay it forward to the next generation. Uh, Jack meant and means a great deal to me and even though I didn't technically know Jack for very long, it just felt like he was a lifelong friend. Jack had many, many remarkable qualities and on so many levels, but the thing that truly remains with me is his integrity, his sense of humor, and the respect that he provided for me in all of our conversations. His kindness, his generosity, his respect will always remain with me as a lasting memory of a man who, in spite of his incredible business success, remained humble, kind, and passionate about giving back to the next generation of entrepreneurs and educators. We really miss you, Jack. In 2013, I had the unique privilege of interviewing Jack on this very stage at the, as the Scheinfeld Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation and Santa Barbara City College honored him with the inaugural Elna Award, the Entrepreneurial Lifetime Notable Achievement Award, named after Elna Scheinfeld. The conversation touched me and will always remain with me, and fortunately has been viewed by thousands, and thankfully it was recorded, and so I want to share a short clip with you from that night.
I said, well, Bob, why don't you do something else? He says, you don't know how lucky you are. You, you do whatever you think you want to do. You want to write, you write. You want to teach, you teach. I can only, I'm, I'm a lover of all. So he had to find uh, another, another outlet, another place, another passion. Too many people are without that. Uh, the wisdom of Jack. A wonderful clip from that evening, that's for sure. And for those of you that may be interested and want to view the entire interview, it's available on the Nadell website, along with many other inspiring videos. I feel a great affinity for Jack but also share an equal appreciation and affinity and respect for Julie Nadell. Julie has the unique ability of bringing the best out in people. Even me, Julie. <laughs> and whose own entrepreneurial background is quite impressive. And I'd like to share a little bit of that. Julie became an entrepreneur when she started her catering and event planning company, Parties Plus, from scratch in her own home, in her own kitchen, in 1978. Always resourceful, Julie used what she had to get what she wanted, which is exactly the kind of wisdom that Jack had advised to so many entrepreneurs over the years. Julie's business grew very quickly and was bought out by a public company just 12 short years later in 1990, having developed her, her first business while still being a mom to two amazing young daughters. She successfully grew Parties Plus to a high level of prestige over a very short amount of time, quickly becoming the go-to caterer for countless celebrity weddings and high-profile mega events, including the Super Bowl, the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics, and many others. Julie was one of the first Southern California catering companies to introduce top-level restaurant and banquet services to off-premises events. In 1987, Julie was awarded the Certificate of Achievement from the Who's Who in Professional and Executive Women in Los Angeles, and also appeared on the cover of Los Angeles Magazine as Female Entrepreneur of the Year. She continued to accomplish great things and turned towards helping others raise vital funds for important projects. In November of 2012, Julie was named Volunteer of the Year by the Association of Fundraising Professionals for all of Santa Barbara County. In 2014, Assemblymember Doss Williams gave Julie a Certificate of, Recogni of Recognition along with the Pacific Coast Business Times for her Distinguished Champions in Health uh, Healthcare Award. She's been a featured speaker at many catering events, in industry conferences, philanthropic and in entrepreneurial events, including those alongside Jack at Good Morning America's Tory Johnson's Spark and Hustle events. Julie and Jack have always led by a hands-on example, giving generously of their time, their talent, their wisdom, and their treasure. On behalf of the really, truly outstanding faculty of the now Jack and Julie Nadell School of Business and Entrepreneurship, it is my humble, unique pleasure to introduce my Dear friend, Julie Nadell, who inspires all of us to bring a commitment of excellence. Well, that's quite a mouthful, the Jack and Julie Nadell School of Business and Entrepreneurship. Our publishing company was called J&J &J Publishing. Maybe this should be J and J S B and E. A little bit easier for people to remember. Thank you, Bonnie. It was a lovely introduction. I always carry that with me. Anthony, Tom, Dr. Beebe, a pleasure to visit with you earlier. And under your stewardship, Santa Barbara City College can only grow bigger and better and thrive. Good evening, everybody. We're so happy to have all of you join us here tonight. 
so happy. And thank you for giving us your most precious gift, your time. Today, everyone needs a posse to accomplish their mission. The days of the Lone Ranger are no longer a viable option. I'd like to acknowledge my posse. Jeff Green, CEO of the Santa Barbara City College Foundation. Jeff drove this, and you, it's very meaningful, the friendship that we've developed through doing this. Appreciate it. Melissa, Melissa Moreno, Interim Vice President of the School of Enlightened Learning. Those of us that hold Medicare cards call it adult education. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. Amber Sims, our publicist and adjunct faculty member here, whom City College also chose to work with to help make this evening a reality. There are three people that handle the administrative work for this special evening. Thank you, Luce Race Martin, Jennifer LeMay, and Dawn Sanchez. The lovely reception we enjoyed before the program and will enjoy after the ribbon cutting is being provided by Mark Borowitz and Rin Conavent. Mark is also mentoring students from SBCC's Randy Bublitz's Culinary Arts Program. Jack loves technology. He would be thrilled to know that we're live streaming this tonight. So Joel, thank you very much for this wonderful words that you had to say. I look forward to showing you and Michael personally the J&JS B.E. School, <laughs> when you come out here soon. Joel's career is one of the countless others I have known or have watched grow from Jack's vast wisdom. Recently, I saw the hit show Hamilton. In the musical, Hamilton talks about legacy. He says, legacy is planting seeds that you never see rise. Well, Jack did not live to see all the seeds he had sown rise, but he visualized and knew the mission of what he wanted to happen here at City College. He entrusted me with his wishes for this incredible project and knew in collaboration with SBCC, we would make that happen for him. Jack had been involved with City College for decades as a guest speaker at many classes and even teaching a class in adult education for older folks to learn how to communicate via the internet. It was called CAPS. Computer Access Program for Seniors. We saw a woman learn how to communicate with her missionary son via email. It was awesome. The new knowledge allowed her daily communication with her son when before it had been every few months by snail mail. Jack loved teaching and sharing his insights. It was a major reason he dedicated the last several years of his life to publishing and promoting his last award-winning book, The Evolution of an Entrepreneur. He even recorded 16 online courses with Thrive15.com at the age of 91. In 2013, Jack was honored to be the first person to receive the prestigious Entrepreneurial Lifetime Notable Achievement Award, the ELNA. The award was part of the Enlightened Entrepreneurship Series it honors Elna Scheinfeld and her late husband, James D. Scheinfeld's vision to encourage and support the development of new businesses, promote entrepreneurship, and assist existing businesses in Santa Barbara. It was born from their genuine regard and commitment to equal access to educational opportunities for all. The award evening meant so much to Jack, sitting on stage right here being interviewed by Professor Bonnie Chavez. Melissa Moreno, who back then was the director of the Scheinfeld Center, said the following, and I quote, Jack Nadell's global experience, insights, and ethical philosophy as a business leader are an excellent resource for all entrepreneurs, and his desire to pay it forward to help others create a model for success is extremely uplifting and valuable for those aspiring to success as he did. Good quote, Melissa. <laughs> the interview with Bonnie explored Jack's extraordinary story of being a lifelong serial entrepreneur, including insights from his seven, days of, seven decades 
of success and his desire to share what he had learned. That evening was so special for Jack that we spoke about it all the time up until his death one year ago. Our gift reflects those conversations and the vision we conceived. Jack knew there would be updated technology added, including a screen where students could see his materials and insights online. He knew there would be access for veterans to become better equipped to be veterpreneurs, like he was. He also knew there would be a better, more vibrant, and usable space for conversations between all of the business division program, students, faculty members, and community who visit. Thank you, designer Dawn Zimmer. I'm so happy that SBCC's new director of veteran programs, Kyle Rasmussen, will work together with veteran organizations and introduce them to the programs our school recommends and expose them to the opportunities toward becoming veterpreneurs. Jack mentored many veterans, and we had the pleasure of meeting with John and Terry Casal, the proud parents of fallen U.S. Navy SEAL Jonas B. Casal. The Casals came to visit with two young and determined veterpreneurs. They were working with John and Terry, who created an organization in their son Jonas's honor. The Jonas Project is dedicated to his unwavering belief that every person should live their lives to the fullest and do what makes them happy every day. I recently got to see one of those young veterpreneurs who was at our home, Greg Cole. We ran into each other at the VetCon conference in Silicon Valley. Greg still talked about him, how impactful that meeting was with Jack. He remembered how inspired he was when he asked Jack, were you ever afraid of failure? Jack's response was, how could I be afraid of losing money when my World War II buddies lost limbs and worse? I was invited to speak at VetCon this past year about Jack's legacy and my experience as an entrepreneur. Now I am told that Jack has been nicknamed the godfather of veterpreneurism in the veteran community. It was an honor to receive and accept the inaugural Jack Nadell Excellence in Entrepreneurship Award. Being, on, being an entrepreneur and passing on his wisdom to help others succeed made Jack very happy. And today, we launched the physical space that makes his vision possible. This newly renovated lobby is now an incubator space where young people can gather, exchange ideas, get input inv and advice, and see their ideas take flight. It's not here, it's gonna be over there <laughs> later on. That was the original tagline and mission of Jack Nadell International, which has been going strong for more than 60 years. It's still run by a Nadell today, our nephew, Craig. Where are you, Craig? There he is. Jack had nothing but the highest regard for how you ran the company and got through the recession and all the tough times. And every time you made a phone call to get his advice and guidance, his face would be beaming. And you should know that. So it was Jack and then Craig's father, Marty, and now Craig running the company more than 60 years. 25 offices around the world. We even have a dear friend and longtime JNI leader, Liz Venz. She came all the way from JNI's London office, especially for this celebration. Thank you, Liz. My personal gratitude to each and every one of the JNIers that made the effort to be here today. Working with great folks at City College has helped to make this year fuller and very worthwhile for me. Creating and continuing a legacy is a healing process, and it has kept me focused on the mission Jack and I shared and never lost sight of, improving the human condition, starting at a local level here in our community. Our community of Santa Barbara is unique, as you all know that, and Santa Barbara City College is integral to the fabric of this community. We are very lucky to have this wonderful institution right in our own backyard. It is no wonder that it was awarded the number one community college in the nation a few years ago, something Jack did get to see and celebrate this year 
that year, that year, when was that? In 2013, I think. Right on this very stage. Tonight, I am celebrating with gratitude Jack's life, so well lived. Let's go cut the ribbon and enjoy the rest of the evening.